Hey there, Manali. So let's have a look at your copyright essay. So what I would suggest is that this first sentence should discuss the question rather than give background information. Background information, it may feel as if it's necessary, but it really isn't. We don't need to talk about what happened before the question. So we could say something like, while some people believe that copyright law limits creativity or hinders creativity, personally, I believe that, and then we have the rest of it here. Um, Instead of saying one of the, we can just say an essential law of a civilized society. Because it helps in recognizing the true owner of a piece of work. In my opinion, the law recognizes the ingenuity because the piece of work protected by copyright law cannot be copied. This one's quite informal and not quite accurate or natural, so let's say necessary. And here we could use maintaining, and we don't need that article. Unnecessary for ma ma maintaining peace in society. You can't be very necessary. Something is either needed or not needed. You can't, you, you can't be very essential either. Something is either essential or not essential. It's a binary concept. This should be the other way around. Past tense, sort. We refer to the guilty as a group of people. We assume it's not just one person. Plural. No article. Okay, that's good. So copyright law encourages creativity. I can see here that you're talking about how copyright law is enforced and what it does but we don't really give an explanation here as to why this is true how do copyright laws encourage creativity the one part of it is that it allows for people um, to have ownership of their work which then in turn allows them to be financially rewarded if this were not true there would be no reason for people to create other than the love of it. But, you know, we live in the real world and people need to be paid. So I would have introduced the idea in here that um, either that this is a deterrent, so it deters people from copying, but then we also need why that's good for creativity. We need a, maybe a financial reason. Or even just the pride of ownership, you know, having your name on something. And again, don't use the word very too much. Conditional. If they were absent, it would be difficult to establish the true owner of a piece of work, a piece of work. Settle the matter.
So, if people try to take the law into their own hands, it can result in a disruption of peace. So now what I expect is for your example to support that. I want to know the evidence behind this statement. So when you say 20% of research projects are based upon some previous research, um, what you're doing is making the case for copyright law and creativity. But actually, you need to be stating an example, some evidence for this particular statement. Your example needs to support the paragraph that it's in, not just the general idea of the essay. So we need to see an example of how disruptive non-enforcement can be. I wouldn't use this article either. Past tense. Don't speak in certainty where none exists. They may use their work and put little effort into their own. But once again, we haven't really fully supported this idea that society would function worse without them. We have, this is good, and this is good, and this on its own is good, but it doesn't support the paragraph very well. I would like to, I'd like you to focus on making sure that your examples properly support the idea that you're positing in the, in the paragraph. So copyright laws are vital and promote creativity to a large extent. So yeah, there's actually not very many corrections to do in your work. Your, your writing ability is fine. Sometimes you use too many words and I have to trim it down. But the majority of what um, the majority of my advice involves supporting your ideas with very precise and specific examples. But let's have a look at your letter and see how well you did there. I would say I am writing in regard to case number C25. My name is Mar I'm a student of the University of Albion. Maybe that. I'm pursuing an MBA and my student number is could. We don't need to capitalize the names of exams. A severe throat infection during that week. It's better to use unable than not able. Is having, um, are having, can just be replaced with have or has in most cases. I would request that you please reconsider my case and allow me to appear for a re-examination. I would like to inform you also that I am able to procure my medical certificate. Furnish the document. I don't know what this means. I'm struggling with that one. You have satisfied the all of the requirements of the letter. 
So your task response in this one is very good. There were just some uh, grammatical constructions that needed a little bit of work. But all in all, I think you're doing very well. So focus on article use. Go to one of these websites. and read an article a day. These guys report on academic journals. So their writing is for the general public, but it's based on science. So it's very, it's formal yet consumable. Um, and if you read an article a day, it will give your brain the necessary exposure to understand the proper use of some grammar patterns and articles. But I'll send these over to you now, Manali. Have a great day and I'll speak to you again very soon.